By 12 o'clock in the evening of January the 21st, we have received reports from 13 provinces and municipalities with confirmed cases of 440. Death cases, nine. New cases, three. All of them are cases in Hubei. And there are reports of new cases, 149 confirmed cases. We received report from Japan on confirmed case, one case, and three confirmed cases from Thailand, and one confirmed case from the Republic of Korea, and a total of 2,197 close contacts have been detected and 715 patients have been discharged. And more than 300 patients are still under medical watch. In recent days, the number of cases is changing quite rapidly. It is because we have now a deep understanding of the disease, improved the diagnostic methods, and sent out improved reagents. Our experts believe the cases are mostly linked to Wuhan. There has already been human-to-human -human transmission and infection of medical workers. There is community-based transmission at, in a, at a certain scale. Relevant evidence shows that the disease is mainly transmitted through the respiratory tract, and there is possibility of viral mutation and further spread of the disease. During the spring festival travel season, there is greater movement of the people, which increases the risks of spread and difficulty of prevention and control, and we must not let down our guard and must be highly vigilant. Going forward, we will work with all other members of the interagency mechanism to follow through on the decisions of the party leadership and state council and put our people's lives and health front and center and guide the local governments to take effective and vigorous measures in accordance with the principle of jurisdictional management to ensure a stable and harmonious spring festival for our people. First, we will take strict measures to contain the, the disease in Wuhan. We have asked Wuhan city and Hubei province to take strictest possible prevention and control measures to tighten the regulation of farm markets and wild animals. We will ask the public to avoid crowds and minimize public gatherings to reduce the possibility of clusters of cases. We will conduct the strictest possible fever screening, conduct medical observations on those people who have fevers to prevent its further spread. Second, we will keep a sharp focus on national level efforts. We will develop two tight nets for surveillance of pneumonia cases with unknown reasons and pre-examination triage at fever clinics so as to timely detect and effectively handle any cases. We will enhance environmental hygiene in this regard, and because of the movement in the Spring Festival, we will put in place measures of ventilation, sterilization, body temperature screening at important venues such as bus stations, couch stations, airports and ports, and also enclosed spaces in vehicles, trains and, air and airplanes. Third, we will provide timely treatment to our patients to reduce fatalities to the minimal level. We will improve the safeguards for the expenses of the patients to ensure timely treatment for the patients. We will also take good care of our medical workers, workers and in particular for their personal protection and prevent their infection when they are treating patients. Fourth, we will publish information and step up international cooperation, we will disclose relevant information timely, publicly, and transparently, and report objectively the developments and the measures taken by the government, raise awareness about this disease in a pragmatic manner and on the basis of sound science, and we will take the initiative to step up 
communication with the WHO, other countries, related countries, and our Hong Kong, Macau, Taiwan regions to share information about the monitoring, investigation, prevention, treatment, and risk assessment to improve our joint efforts in the prevention and control of the disease. Fifth, we will step up research efforts to identify the source and modes of transmission of the disease and conduct targeted R&D and selection of antiviral drugs. We will closely follow the changes in the virulence and the communicability of the disease to make our prevention and control more effective. We will, sixth, arrange for personnel, personnel on duty in the health authorities nationwide instruct the health administrative bodies and medical institutions to send experienced people to be on duty and all hospitals and disease control agencies at all levels to have enough personnel on the post. We will do our level best to curb effectively the spread of the disease. We have the strong leadership of the CPC Central Committee with Comrade Xi Jinping at the core. We have the institutional strength of a socialism with Chinese characteristics. We have a rather full-fledged system of pre prevention and control of infectious diseases established since 2003 after the fight against SARS, and we have experience in handling major public health emergencies in handling H1N1 flu, avian flu, and Ebola, and that we have the support of the people. I believe we have the confidence we will defeat this disease.